Mustang Mob, and this is Blue Review. I'm Amara. I'm Christian. And welcome, welcome back, back to Blue, Blue Review. Review. It's finally November, and you know what that means? November flush and flannel cure? No, it means basketball and the Mustang mob are back. Oh, I know all about them too well. Let's check it out. Last year I made seven million, then had to do a single single show. Should I too much up at Coca-Cola for the check that cut me at the Super Bowl? On my life moments is a super bowl. But Dr. Dre, he got a super bowl. Last night I was texting Jack Dorsey, that's the perks you get from being super dope. This is real life, ain't no act in it. All these rap, they be rap pitting. Every little thing I do is mad different. Got my little cousin playing Batman. Gave my little bro a quick 50 piece. He got the whole trap hitting. I've been stacking up all these assets. Can be conducting any bad business. Like, whoa, hey, I keep that drip on me. I'm big homie, homie, huh? Hey, I can't ever slip homie. My mama might flip on me like what? Hey, drop top coop in a summer. I rest my case like huh? Hey, I'ma live life to the fullest with every single breath I take. Like, huh? I'm Tessa and I'm Serena and, and welcome, welcome back to Taste of Taylor. Today we asked some of the BMX boys what they ate on Thanksgiving. Tacos. Nine Thanksgivings ago, we were parasailing over. Psalms Road and Greenhouse. All of a sudden, the helicopter came out of nowhere and knocked us down. <laughs> we landed in line at the taco truck. These tacos are the best tacos we've ever had in our entire lives, and that's what keeps us coming back to them every single year. We're here! I give this spiritual experience a 10 out of 10. No only spiritual, emotional. I give this experience a 10 out of 10. My tacos are great. And I give it a 9 out of 10 because I had a great time. Vaping is a serious and dangerous issue, y'all. Yeah, it makes your lungs all red. No, it makes them black. Yeah, we'll have to put an end to it before it gets worse. It's more obvious than you think when you vape. Don't risk it. I'm Jerry Fumble. And I'm Harry Rumble. And I'm very humble. And, and this, this is, is the history, history of fine arts. arts. Studies show that if you play clarinet for 60 seconds or more consecutively, all of your teeth will fall out of your mouth forever. You will never get them back. Some songs use trumpets, or some even use tubas if you're feeling frisky. Connor Blanchard used to play the bassoon. The double clarinet was made when George Howard glued two clarinets together. In 2008, a choir member sang so hard that their jaw fell off. You actually can't play the cello. It's done entirely by animatronics. The band has a super advanced cloning device that they use in case one of their students gets hurt. Before playing the clarinet, the clarinet players have to take three deep breaths manually. You are now manually breathing. Hi, I'm very humble, and I'm the bestest. Thanks, guys. Did you ever join robotics this year? I almost did. Wait, I still can? Let's go. So what we do in the meetings is we build the robots that we will use for the competitions in the second semester. But every month we do have a general meeting. Uh, it's more official, so to speak, where we go over the 
uh, general progress of the robots and also any future plans for the club. Uh, the competition, so basically it's split off into a bunch of rounds. So basically four teams get have their robot put into a field and the robots are paired off into two alliances. So the two alliances will uh, fight. The main objective of the competition is to just score as many points as possible and it differs from year to year. How we learned to do all the robots, it was mostly from uh, personal experience because when this club started it was kind of dead. There wasn't really any mentors so to speak. So it basically all started off with trial and error and it's uh, we've just accumulated more experience over the years and now we pass it on to the new members. Uh, what I do for the Robotics Club is basically I'm their glorified secretary. They're they're pretty much student run so they set their hours of course they gotta get them approved with me uh, but otherwise they're teaching each other they have their own go-to tutors for the mechanical electrical and coding aspects and then they just talk to me about hey which competitions they want to go to I fill out the paperwork and then we show up and do our thing. As far as my experience with robots, pretty much no. I showed up um, and I think they associated physics with robotics and pretty much it fell into my lap. It was one of those things that I had a bunch of students that were already in my physics classes that were interested in robotics. So when the old advisor left, they kind of clung to me and I was okay with it. So that's where we are now, yeah. So I have probably learned a lot more about robotics than most of these kids have throughout my time as the advisor. I feel smarter just knowing that club exists. Apparently, the last time we had a break, the golf team went camping. That sounds fun. Run it back. Hi, guys. Welcome to the vlog. We're going to Con Can, and it's... Here we have cookies. Woo! Okay, we're about to go hiking. Yeah. I was reminiscing just the other day While I haven't got me all alone And Lord, it took me away Back to a hey guys. We're halfway through. <laughs> what are the names? We made it. We're done with day one. We're done. <laughs> um, we made it back to the co cabin and we're getting ready for sport. Oh, yeah. It's day two, it's 39 degrees. I wonder what people's Thanksgiving plans are. Let's ask them. What's your favorite Thanksgiving tradition? Like, thing that y'all do? Um, we usually watch a really bad Thanksgiving movie, and we all just <laughs> laugh at it all the time. Uh, mainly, what we do is, you know, we get all the food down, turn on the TV, and just watch some football. Um, I like green bean casserole, or just like pie. Pumpkin pie is really good. What is a baby turkey called? It's a gobbler. Three. Women were at the first Thanksgiving meal. Women? Five. Who was the first president to pardon a turkey? Um, I think it was Dr. Stone. Was mashed potatoes served at the first Thanksgiving? Yeah, 100%, like, come on. <laughs> they were? Gobble, gobble. Um, hi, what's your name? I'm Dustin Green. <laughs> so, what's your favorite food? Uh, I like turkey. Cranberry on turkey and a lot of stuffing. What is the tradition you do for Thanksgiving? I <laughs> uh, just get together with family, connect with uh, the ones that aren't in this country, and just take the time to appreciate everybody and for what they've done for me and everybody else. Wow, I'm getting so excited for Thanksgiving break. Me too. I guess that's a wrap on fall. Time to start preparing for a forever winter. Stay safe and have a great break. Bye, y'all. <laughs>